Hello everybody, AOG Gaming here, back with another video on Dislights. Um, so, we have our first look, I guess, at the, not first look, but, well, there's the new Esper. That's what he's going to look like. It's pretty cool. He has like this knight spiky armor. Um, and actually, if you go to the quiz event, which is happening for three days... He is a Greek Titan, technically. Um, so, yeah, everyone who chose Mesopotamia in Japanese, sorry, you're, you might be wrong. Um, you're, you're definitely wrong. Uh, but yeah, but anyone, this event is new, so anyone who hasn't chosen, it's Greek. Um, yeah, he's the Greek Titan of Prophecy and Fire or Sight. He was technically the one who created humans. So, yeah. Um, he's technically like the father of humans in Greek mythology. As far as I have read into mythology, I don't know if that's completely accurate, but he did make humans out of clay or something from the river and they came alive or whatever. And Stuff like that, and then he gave fire to the humans, and then Zeus got mad and chained him to a rock and made a made an eagle or sorry, a vulture come. No, it was an eagle come and pick out his liver every time it regenerated because he's immortal, so he regenerates. But he gets basically eaten alive every day uh, <laughs> by a bird. So yeah, um, not the uh, greatest story, um, but yeah. I don't know why he has a hammer. Or is that a chained hammer? I don't know. He looks cool though. Um, but you can't really see anything like before. So it's the same as always. Uh, but yeah, he is from Greek mythology. Just, just FYI. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. We're doing a Hera review today, so you guys can leave if you don't want to see that. Um, and then... Well, I should have just enhanced some equipment real quick. Yeah, let me do that real quick. Um, and we're going to try and max her out today. Pretty sure it should be fine. She's only one level away from Ascension. By max that, I mean Ascension. Um, technically, upgrading her abilities all the way would be maxed, but... um. Yeah, max HP, so. Do I have any HP equipment? I just want to see. What does this do? Oh, that's not helpful at all. Hmm, okay, so all of my Grove sets. Yeah, they're only legendary, so I'm not going to use them yet. So it's fine with giving people shield and decreasing her reducing her ability cooldowns by one which is really good because um she only has a five turn cooldown on her ultimate which is pretty good because getting it down to four is insane um and of course her basic is nothing um but yeah being able to do that is crazy dispels one debuff from each ally grants immediate allies without debuffs yeah um so she's pretty good as a um She's not the best Inferno healer, but she's right up there with Frigga. Frigga is obviously first because she can revive. So, okay, we got more of those. So that's good. Um, before we do anything though, I want to do draws for you guys because um, why not? Please just get epic. Okay, well we didn't get anything good. We just got doo doo dog water. I'm never mad at these draws, though, because they, they guarantee you Legendary Espers, which uh, most games don't. Um, so that's, like, the best thing about this game, is there's actual progression even if you're unlucky. Because you get a guaranteed Esper every 100 spins. And usually I get it before 100 spins, sometimes I get it, like, halfway through, so it's pretty decent if you ask me. Um, and then the next draw was Elemental, I believe. Yeah. We're probably not going to get any epics, but if we do, that would be great. Okay, perfect. Perfect. All I needed to do is collect seven epics, and then I can get Prometheus when he comes out. 
who's a little bit better than Yuhime, in my opinion, for, like, overall. But Yuhime is better damage dealer, that's for sure. Well, honestly, I haven't seen him yet, so I can't judge yet. But so far, that seems to be, like, my opinion, just, like, of what I've read so far. And I guess we'll just use one of these, because whatever. But we'll probably get something rare, yep. Yep, useless Esper that never gonna use. <laughs> um, they should make a game mode where you can only use uh, rare and epics, because honestly, that would make those espers a lot more. Because they're all unique. All the espers are unique, but I mean, epic espers definitely have their use in some game modes. But for the most part, you just want a full legendary team. So if they made a game mode that just had epics and um, rares. It would make the game a lot more versatile for everybody because early gameplay could also be a thing. But you should always be trying to get legendary espers. Like they're obviously the better of the two. Um. So yeah, we're gonna do some battles in Infernus using Hera because why not? She's neutral. Um, actually, we can blitz this once, so let's do that. It's very loud. It's very loud. Um, yeah, actually, let's see if we can max her up before we do any battles, because that would be nice. So actually, let me see. Oh, why does it keep doing that? Oh, I got another achievement thing? Oh, I cleared it 200 times. Perfect. Oh, that's interesting. I don't think I've cleared in the wind or flow 200 times. Okay, let's go to Hera. Okay, so let's do basic. All of them. Okay, yeah, we're, we're getting closer. We only need actually seven. Interesting. So we're just going to go to... It's so easy when you can do this. It's so nice that they made this a lot better. Um, yeah, you know what? Oh, right, right. Active. Whoopsies. I'm just going to blitz. I only have 41. Okay, we'll do it that many times. I get enough memo chips anyway, and I don't really use them <laughs> when I... Don't need them. Okay, um, should we just do multi battle? No, we can go straight into it. Um, take you away. Add you. Um, so we have two healers. We have a lot of wind. I guess we're just gonna um add another inferno. And that'll be you. Yeah, and then increase crit rate, and yeah, that should be fine. Two Inferno, two Flow, sorry, two Wind. Oh, maybe I should have another Flow instead. Hmm. Well, all my Flow characters are kind of bad, <laughs> in my opinion. Ooh, whoopsie, sorry about that. Um, does anybody... Why did it go all the way over there? I barely even touched the screen. Um, do you increase? Ooh, forty percent attack. Okay, yeah, I I'll take that. Um, I could put Leora, but sorry, Athena. But I guess I'll just do Amunet. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go with this. See if this works. I know Amunet is not very strong. There's a lot of buffer going on right now. Hello. Okay, well, extra shield for everybody. Oh, this is going to be harder than I think because I don't have any damage. I just realized what I've done. Actually, let's just do this because I'm not trying to sit here through the beginning parts. At least our team won't die, but this is going to take years. Yeah, I think I'm just going to change up my team. It doesn't really matter. 
I'll just give them a lot more damage because this is ridiculous. <laughs> what is that counterattack? It's a little stupid. Yeah, we, we're definitely going to lose this because I do not have good equipment on my Ammonites. Well, let's see how it goes first. See, all my characters are basically critting well. Geb didn't crit there, but it doesn't really matter. Oh yeah, and we have shield. I think we're we're fine. Yeah. Okay, I take back what I said before. <laughs> Why is the character before this a lot stronger than the boss? This makes no sense. It's not the best built team, but um, it'll work. Buff blocker, speed down, defense down, and diseased. Plus, everyone is slowly increasing in damage with um, Geb's passive. They all get their uh, one debuff dispelled. Um, and we're also like changing AP here with... Um, what's his name? Brusker and... Um, Hera doesn't do that, does she? She doesn't do AP stuff. Okay, well, Brusker is definitely doing AP stuff right now. That's uh, basically making the boss useless. Oh, I forgot about her. <laughs> Why do I keep forgetting that Nuts is... Oh my god, why do I keep forgetting? Okay. Uh, no, not next level. What am I doing? So, honestly, we're just going to do multi-battle because I don't, I don't understand why. I should just be stuck here. We'll do review in the meantime. Yeah, this should be fine. I don't have to pay attention to that. Okay, so. Let's look... At Hera, fully explain her abilities. Captain ability increases defense in point war and knockouts by 40%. Not super useful. Um, defense is very easily ignored, or you can put defense down. So, oh. defense is one of the worst stats in the game. It's not worse than resist, but it's probably right next to it because you can pretty much ignore defense. Like, it's not. It's not a big thing. Unless a character has is built around defense. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so 20% AP. Oh, I forgot that she does do that. Okay, yeah. So Hera is AP. Only for allies, though. She doesn't take AP away from enemies. Healing 25% of their max HP. Dispels one debuff from each ally. Grants immunity to allies without debuffs for one turn. Basically, keeping debuffs off and then making sure that those debuffs... There's no debuffs. So... Honestly, she'll be good for uh, APEP, so I might actually use her for APEP. Um, upon healing, dispels one debuff from target, so she dispels two debuffs, I'm assuming, when she heals all allies. Because she'll dispel it, and then she'll dispel one debuff again from all allies. Okay, that's pretty cool. And also, she has pretty... She has like a good speed so she usually goes first um so she'll grant shield because usually your team won't take any damage unless the enemy team is going first in which that case she'll just heal your um teammates with this um ultimate with her ultimate otherwise her passive will turn that into a shield for two turns and it's 120 percent of excess healing amount which is a lot um as you saw those shields do matter so, pretty cool. Um, damage 90% attacks one enemy. Heals two allies. Prioritize allies with lowest HP percentage. That's really good. Does Gep do that too? I just want to... He technically heals the ally with the lowest HP. Yeah, well, that's his passive. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I was like, wait a second. It doesn't say that in his basic attack. But his passive says it, so yeah. He's just so good. The dispelling diseased. Cause um well I guess Hera can do that, but 
because she dispels all debuffs, but he specifically dispels diseased, which is really the only thing that stops healing. Um, and he restores their max HP capacity, which is so broken. I don't think any other Esper that heals does that. So it's a good thing to keep in mind. Gab is really broken. Um, so I'm really happy that I got him. And also, um, Ascended? No, no. Um, what's the... Remix tape? What is the, what is the term for it when you increase the... Um, Star level. I forgot what it's called. Here, there's a good way to... Oh, that was the wrong Esper. What the heck? The game is lagging a little bit. Um, What is it called? Okay, wrong Esper. Then you... I guess you just increased their level cap. Like, what... What is this term? I forgot what this term is called. Um, but um, yeah, I didn't know that I could uh max you out. So sure, I'll do that. I mean, he. I only have a few legendary Inferno Espers, so having him max out is good. And uh, I have him at second resonance, so that's good. Um. So yeah, Hera is pretty good. She's second to Frigga, but I think she's still pretty good because she heals instead of gives Absorb. Absorb is a buff, but it can be dispelled. So, like here, let's go check real quick um, in the Atlas. Okay, so... Yeah, so Absorb is dispellable because it doesn't say undispellable, so... Dealing damage restores HP equal to 20% of damage. So it's restoring, not healing. So it won't work with um, Prometheus, I believe. Don't take my word for that because I haven't gotten the, this Esper or the new Esper that's coming out in four days. So I won't actually know until I try it. Um, probably won't get Frigga anytime soon, but just something to keep in mind. Yeah, and then... She gains, she gives shield. Okay, actually she doesn't heal as much as I thought. She only has the absorb. Okay, so she's she's an okay healer. I think Kara is a little bit better because she actually heals. Um, but Frigga is pretty good. She's Don't sleep on Frigga. She's really good. Literally the only legendary Esper I believe that can revive. So keep that in mind. So the spells all debuffs. Yeah, I just wanted to check this character real quick. Wait, what? Cooldown is six turns for revives and heals all foul fallen allies. Okay, so I didn't realize that she could do this. So I, I was just trying to make sure because I was reading on other espers. Okay, so she can. So Frigga and her are the only legendary espers. That can revive. I'm going to keep saying that until I prove myself wrong. Uh, or someone else can comment down below and prove me wrong. But, yeah, I didn't know that uh, Isis could do this. But that makes kind of sense. Also gives him AP. So that's really good. Oh, each revived ally sends Crimson Protection cooldown by one turn. Grants all ally shield for one turn. All allies AP 20%. Oh, and the cooldown's not affected by other effects. Oh, that sucks. I thought you could have put an ocean set on her and just spam this ability. <laughs> so it's a little bit more balanced, but um, I mean, you can get it down to five. Oh no, I don't. I'm not gonna check. Her. I can't check her ascension anyway. So I don't know what the uh, enhanced ascension at level three is. But I'm assuming something good. Maybe maybe it can be affected by cooldowns, but. I feel like that would break it a little. <laughs> Attacks one enemy, damage 30%, restores HP, healing 100% of damage. Oh, that's really good. It's only 30% attack plus 3% magic HP, but that's still pretty good. Okay, so Isis. Um, Gaia doesn't heal, does she? She just stuns. 
and then grants yeah speed and AP. You don't heal at all, do you? Yeah, she just AP stuff, paper talisman. Oh wow, she's really just hit her and you get hit back. Uh, <laughs> you're a controller, so I'm assuming yeah, you're no you don't have anything healing. So yeah, um I still think that uh she's one of the best healers. Yeah, and then your poison stuff, so a little different. Um this also, this is weird because it raises allies HP percentage to the level of non-boss enemy with the highest HP percentage. Not regarded as healing, so he doesn't heal. So it's very interesting. Um, and I don't think he heals. Yeah, yeah, so he's not a healer, but he technically increases their HP. I don't think he's a very good Esper in general, but you know. To each their own. Um, and Yimmer and uh, Izanami don't heal at all. So yeah, it's really just between Frigga and Hera. And Hera's the better healer in my opinion, but Frigga's the better support in my opinion. Um, and I guess you can count Isis, but she's not really a healer. She's more just a reviver. Um, but she does a, she has a lot of other stuff going on too. So she's I think she's the top. Well, she's also not Inferno. Yeah, she's not Inferno, so I, I guess I can't counter. So yeah, it's between Frigga and Hera, but I think Hera's the better healer. Frigga's the better support. I still have new Espers. Oh yeah, that's right, I have this dude. Still haven't collected her. How How is this possible? Um, And then Scotty and Patai also have not collected. Neither Nyeth, Hercules, Golivig, Chiron, um... Hella. Oh, that's interesting. Hella's there. Freyr. Oh, really? That's Freyr? And Sobek. Yeah, okay. Um. Okay, well, we're still letting those battles go. Hopefully, it finishes before. Uh, actually, let's just go to Hera and see if we can max her out. But I'm pretty sure we can't. Okay, we have 31 of those, so. We just need five more advanced infernal, or three more advanced infernal ways, and we can max her out, which I'm sure we'll get the next two to. Oh, we lost a battle, really? Oh, I ran out of. Uh... Oh, okay, well, that, that's easily fixed. I ran out of stamina. I was so confused. I was like, excuse me? Yeah, we're running out of stamina points, guys. <laughs> Can't believe I'm saying that since we have uh, 26 of these. So, you know what? Let's just use all of them. Why not? Um. Okay, interesting. Another thing is... Wait, which... which um. Let me see if I can do another draw for you guys real quick. Well, first, um, let's continue with those trials. Oopsies, wrong button. And uh, we're just gonna put some Wukong because I need I need damage. Um, and then multi battle. Yeah, it's fine if we're weak against Inferno, like. Doesn't really matter. Like with Sun Wukong being maxed out, literally, except for um, his uh, star levels or rank or whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, he's, he's pretty good. What was I going to say next? Oh, right, right. I was doing draws for you guys. Okay, so we have seven flow records, so... Where did I find the Florex? Oh, here, but I'm pretty sure I found them somewhere else. We only need three. Perfect. We have enough for that. All right. Perfect. OK, 
Okay, just doing some draws for you guys because I feel like I've done. I should do just gameplay for each video, and then not gameplay, but draws and you know review a uh, Esper. I'm gonna just skip, press the skip button here if it lets me. Okay, we only got one, but that's fine. Now we have ninety five wish stones. Oh, we don't get anything from what? That's stupid. We got some from uh from the uh shimmer draws when we got an epic from the shimmer. That's I'm really confused on that how that the wish stones work. Honestly, you should get wish stones for elemental as well. But to be fair, they do just give you free uh Ooh, I could get Abigail if I wanted to. Yeah, I could get Abigail. Wait, are these all the legendary espers? No, because there's Embla and um, Isis. Yeah, no, there's all the espers aren't here. All the new espers are not there. Very interesting. Um, so yeah, we'll review him when he comes out. If we ever get that last seven wish stones we need. My goodness, it takes forever. Okay, so while we're waiting, I guess we'll just do some... Um, some of these. I guess I can just quickly go through it. Because I need some more so that I can get my legendary um, Abilamon so that I can keep upgrading abilities. Uh, I'm probably going to start doing it on Sith and Hera because those are really the only characters that I need. I have enough damage. Like honestly, I can just put full damage team. So we're just going to continue with this. Oh, come on, bro. Literally level 79 and he has two espers. Nice. Still, still going good. Still going strong. Honestly, we could put a second healer and probably be like just indestructible. Um, actually, I'm going to do that for my defense. Just to show you guys. Okay, we're going to do this last one and then I'll do my defense. Why is the music so goddamn loud for this part? Jesus Christ, this light. Why do you guys just burst people's ears? Um, when is the shop reset? In two days, okay, yeah, that's fine. I have time. Okay, so take all of these guys out. Have Geb and no, because we have another. Yeah, so let's add you as well. Um, we have you as the leader, and then we have Heimdall. Hopefully, this works. Um. Oh, it shows you where they are on the map. That's pretty cool. So yeah, so they'll decrease, they'll do extra damage, they'll crit. And they're just going to heal completely, so that that's pretty nice. Let's exit out this uh, really loud, really loud. My goodness. I'm trying to make people hear my voice. Just like... Um, so we should have enough now, hopefully. No. We got 38. 39. My goodness, why is it taking forever? I don't need that. Once we finish the second battle, we'll probably have it. Oh, yay, more gems. I'll, I'll take that for what are these. What are these called again? Nope, I don't want to buy. I I just want to know what they're called. Just calls it a pack. Are these diamonds or gems? What are they called? Nexus crystals. That's what they are. I knew they weren't called diamonds or gems. I just knew it. Okay, we should have it now. Because we're on the third battle. So, Yep, there we go. My goodness, I waited ages for that. 
So increase their health. Oh my god, that's a big increase in oh 20%. Yeah, that's a lot. Okay, so now her healing is gonna be a lot better. Alright, well, thank you guys for watching. AOG Gaming here. If you're enjoying the content, please like and subscribe. Really shows your support. Helps me out, keeps you up to date with my content. 65 subscribers and going strong last time I checked. So you guys are amazing. Keep going. And um, yeah. I was honestly gonna max you out. Nyx. But uh yeah, I'm just gonna switch to Sif and Hera. Um Probably Sif, because damage taken minus 25 is really broken. She, that's a lot better than Hera. Um, but she does give you shield, so technically kind of the same. But minus 25 damage taken is a lot better, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, anyway, thank you guys for watching. And as always, I'll see you guys later.